So, anyone else having a good time with that new Nintendo Switch Sports game? I certainly have. And while it's certainly good on its own merits, it really gave me the itch to go back and play some of the fourth best-selling video game of all time. That's right, today we're taking a look at Wii Sports, the game that more or less single-handedly built Nintendo's, I guess now, second best-selling home console's success. But among these five recreations of physically demanding recreation activities, which ones were the real MVPs? Today, I'll give my opinion on the matter, as we rank the top five Wii Sports sports. On paper, boxing should have been incredible. I mean, what's not to love? Various forms of combat have long been the primary gameplay loops for the majority of video games, practically since the inception of the medium. It only made sense to include a combat sport like boxing in this brave jump into motion controls. And honestly, when it works, it may actually be one of the best games in the pack. But that's the thing, when it works. At least in my experience, this game just simply does not work properly. Motion controls have long had an, in my opinion, generally undeserved reputation for unresponsiveness, and just flat out not detecting your movements. And Wii Sports Boxing is where I would argue that reputation first took hold. It's hard to describe how exactly Wii Boxing feels. If pressed, I'd say it seems somehow both extremely over-responsive and hyper-unresponsive. You routinely find that just a slight shift in your guard somehow gets interpreted as a punch, while your actual punches often aren't registered at all. And god help you if you want to pull off some of the more advanced moves like hooks, uppercuts, and dodging with any level of consistency. Personally, I just at this point have accepted them to be essentially random chances for critical hits in my gameplay. And that's with the Wii Remote. Good luck trying to get the nunchuck to cooperate with you. Honestly, I usually end up forgetting that the nunchuck even has motion control capabilities when I'm playing on the Wii. That's probably because most everyone realized it was a bad idea after Wii Boxing happened. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually objectively worse than the Wii Remote at sensing motion, but it certainly feels that way which is enough for me to condemn it. So overall, boxing had honestly maybe the best concept in the pack, mired in broken controls that were perhaps aiming at a target that base level Wii motion controls perhaps just weren't quite up to task for. It does have one thing going for it though, which is the fact that it does give the best workout of any of the sports. So if you didn't quite want to go all the way and get Wii Fit, this is a decent enough alternative. Fight! Good news everyone, from here on out, all of the sports are at the very least, functional. At number 4 we have the intense, dramatic, action-packed, baseball. Now I'll be honest, I'm not really what one might consider to be a fan of real life baseball. But for what it's worth, I do enjoy playing Wii Sports Baseball more than I enjoy watching actual baseball. And hey, you wouldn't necessarily expect this in a video game, but baseball here does a great job at distilling and simulating one of the most defining elements of watching sports. Cursing the incompetence of your own team. Alright, that's an extremely vulnerable flyball. You guys got this. What? How did you miss that? What do we pay you millions of dollars for if you can't even catch a freaking ball? Ugh. As a side note, I do find it kind of funny that this sport leans so heavily into asymmetric multiplayer. Who would have thought that you didn't need to include an entire tablet with your game console to achieve such a feat? There's even an element of hidden information present with the mechanic of secretly holding down A and or B to change what type of throw you do. So yeah, baseball is decent. Not my favorite sport, but decent. It is the best at one thing though, and that's showing off loads of your me's playing a sport in quick succession. Just look at that Dark Lord bat. Strike. You're out! Change sides! Wii Sports Tennis, by all rights, should not be as enjoyable as it is. If you look at it strictly objectively, it's basically just a game of shaking the Wii Remote with proper timing. Far from the only time a minigame like that has appeared on the Wii. But I don't know, this one just hits different. 
Yeah, you don't have any control over your character's movement, which in theory subtracts from the strategic depth of the experience, but it also makes the game incredibly accessible. What's not to understand? Just swing the Wii Remote when the ball comes your way. The Wii's whole success was argued built on making games as intuitive to as wide an audience as possible by, in essence, unabstracting the inputs used to control video games and in so doing, making them more immediately understandable. All of Wii Sports is about that to some extent, but nowhere is that more so the case than with tennis. And that's not to say it's a ludicrously simple and brain-dead experience. There's certainly a skill ceiling to contend with here, as evidenced by my falling so short of it. One other thing it gets credit for is allowing for the most players to play it in multiplayer truly simultaneously, thanks to it operating under doubles rules. Love 15. Have you ever wondered why golf is so culturally ingrained as the quintessential sport of the wealthy and well-off? Well, as with most luxuries, it's primarily based on the fact that so many resources are wasted on it. Basically a flex saying, Oh, look at me, I'm so wealthy that I can turn an area of land larger than your entire neighborhood into effectively a majorly overgrown and immaculately maintained sports ball field. And after all that, my remaining real estate holdings are still hundreds of times greater than you will ever hope to own. <laughs> But along came Wii Sports, and suddenly an entire nine-hole golf course complete with realistic golf swings dwelt within the living rooms of over 80 million regular middle and working class families. Had a single game company ever before been responsible for such an equalizing of the socio-economic standings? No wonder the powers that be had to respond by crushing the entire economy only a couple short years later. In all seriousness though, Wii Sports Golf is quite a fun game. Though interestingly enough, it's not even my favorite golf game on the Wii. And that does at least somewhat factor into my ranking of it here in this video. You compare its features and course variety to other golf games that eventually released on the system, and it often comes up a bit short. If you want to play a Wii golf game in 2022, quite frankly, I have other options that I'd rather play. That being said, even in 2022, Wii Sports Golf has enough of its own unique flavor to warrant coming back to. One thing I quite appreciate is the extent to which you have to naturally feel out things like your swing power in this game. There's no easy tap button to lock onto a certain power here. You swing at the speed you feel is right, and hopefully it was. And while yes, only having 9 holes is a bit of a letdown, I will say that what holes Wii Sports does have are interesting enough and of decent quality. They also span a decent range of difficulty levels, so that any gathering has at least a few holes to feel comfortable on. So like I said, there are certainly other golf games which I prefer to Wii Sports Golf. But honestly, even the fact that Wii Sports Golf, and in essence minigame from a Wii launch title, is even in the conversation with those other full golf games, I'd say is in and of itself a credit to Wii Sports Golf. Arguably the deepest and richest of the Wii Sports sports. Nice car! I mean, let's be honest, was it ever in doubt that bowling would be at number one on this list? I don't know how Nintendo did it, but they somehow perfected motion-controlled bowling on their very first attempt. I assert unto you that Wii Sports Bowling was not made for the Wii, but rather the Wii was made for Wii Sports Bowling. Let's just start with the controls. You start by holding the Wii Remote up close to your chest, just like in real bowling. Then you hold down the trigger, and the throw begins. You bring it back to wind up the power of your throw. Then with great speed and power, you launch your arm forward, taking care to release the trigger at just the right moment to allow your ball to gracefully land upon that oily lane. All the while, attempting to twist your wrist in just the right way to start your ball spinning round like a beautiful, glossy planet hurtling through a milky way of hardwood. Eventually, colliding with that triangle of pins in Armageddon, and if you've done it all right, annihilating every last one of them. Truly, has gaming ever been more satisfying? The magic of Wii Sports Bowling is, at least in my opinion, how it interlaces multiple microtasks within the simply understood act of tossing the ball. First and most obviously is ensuring you move your arm forward with enough speed to grant your ball significant power. While that's going on, you have to control the rotation of your wrist to get the desired spin for your shot. Then layered on top of that is the timing of releasing the ball. Because let me tell you, and I didn't realize this during my initial plays of Wii Sports Bowling back in the day, but tossing the ball on the lane 
and rolling it onto the lane have two very different effects on your throw. And of course, throwing it backwards into the crowd, while useless, is quite fun. So yeah, that's Wii Sports Bowling. The flagship, and in my opinion, major triumph of Wii Sports. The game responsible for destroying more TVs than any other. But can we not all agree it was worth it? For this collection of humble minigames was for many their primary gateway into Nintendo, or perhaps even gaming as a whole, including myself. There is a good likelihood I wouldn't be doing any of this right now if not for these five sports. Well, actually four. My childhood self wasn't very fond of golf. But thank you, Wii Sports. All these years later, you're still actually quite a good game. And I am still, now, making, hopefully, quite good videos. And thank you viewers for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting, potentially on ideas for videos you'd like to see in the future. Oh, and if you want to see some more Wii Sports adjacent content, I did play Nintendo Switch Sports on my Let's Play channel recently, so you may be inclined to check that out. But anyways guys, until next time, I have been Simcraft, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, I'm really bad at the timing on that. Okay, sets. Okay, and... Oh, that was bad. Really bad. Oh, I'll take it!